I'm here with Tom Rosser with Gateway Mortgage, and he's going to explain to us in the world of home loans, what do we need when you're getting all your documents together and you want to start the process? Yes, uh, documentation is always fun. It can it can feel like uh, never ending requests from your lender. Uh, so hopefully this video helps out a little bit uh, on documentation. It's different for every loan program. Mm -hmm. It's different uh, really if you own a bunch of properties, if you have a bunch of businesses, um, than if you were just a W-2 employee somewhere. Uh, so the three main things that we document, we document income, assets, and identity. Uh, we, we check credit, so we already have your credit documented. Um, that's kind of the fourth piece of it. Um, I'll start with the easy one, identity. We need a copy of your driver's license. Uh, every, everyone that's uh, buying a home, we want a copy of your driver's license. You don't have a driver's license, we can use a passport. Uh, I mean, there's alternative documentation that we can get, uh, but we want a driver's license is the easiest one. Income is the second thing that we document, and income really matters on where you work. So if you are a W-2 employee at OnQ and you have been there for five years, your income documentation is pretty easy. Uh, we want a W-2 from 19, 2019, and we want your most recent pay stub. If you are self-employed, uh, it gets a little more complicated. Yes, it does. So if you're self-employed, we want full tax returns. Um, so we want your personal tax returns. Um, if you file with a Schedule C, it will be on your personal return. If you have a, a separate business of, of return, we want that return as well. So self-employed can get a little more complicated, um, but if you have easy access to your, your documents, it's, it's not bad at all. The third thing that we document is assets. And depending on where your assets are or how you are getting your assets, that kind of changes what we need. So the, the standard way is someone says, I'm bringing uh, $10,000 to the closing. I have $10,000 in my savings account. Real easy. Just get us a, a bank statement from your savings account. Uh, we have a lot of people that will get a gift for their down payment. So uh, there's a little different documentation there where we get a gift letter from the donor that says that they're giving you a gift and you don't have to pay it back. And then we have to kind of paper trail the, the gift that they actually gave it to you. Uh, so sometimes we'll get a copy of a check, you deposit the check, we get a copy of your bank statement showing you have the balance. Uh, some other common ways people do 401k withdrawals, that's pretty common. Um, so on that one, we get a statement from your 401k showing you have the money, we get the terms of withdrawal, and then once you've withdrawn it, we get a copy of the check that you've withdrawn. Uh, that's that's the the asset piece of it. Those are the kind of the three main ways that you know your own money, a gift, or or your retirement funds okay. um, that we see assets. That is super helpful. Uh, that's up front. We want that stuff up front, and then as we <laughs> dig deeper, we may we may ask you for more stuff. Uh, but if you get that gathered up up front, it makes the whole process so much easier because it's not guessing what your income is. It's not hoping what you told us is accurate. It's we have documented it. It's calculated. It's good. And then that means there's no surprises. Correct. And you're not walking into it to get crushed yep. by the fact that, oh, no, really, I can't buy this much house. Yes. So it's really better, always better, to do it up front. We love when you do it up front. That way you you know what it's going to feel like once your contract is accepted and, and you, you, you buy a home. Okay. That's good. Okay. So get those documents ahead of time. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for having me.